was expecting that he was going to be sentenced today, but I do understand mm -hmm. that it's a very complex process when it comes to any type of criminal investigation. Um, I know the DA is working very hard to get us justice, and I'm very hopeful that in the end, you know, justice will prevail and my daughter will have some justice. It's, it's hard to tell what the long-term damages would be because anytime a child is a victim of abusive head trauma or any type of physical severe trauma, it's very uncertain as to what their long-term damages will be. So as much as I'm very thankful and hopeful at her progress, I also know that until she's much older, we're not going to know the longitudinal damage. I don't know that there's ever justice because my family has been destroyed. But I think that accountability and some sort of justice for my daughter would be good, whether it be some jail time, jail and probation. But I don't think it's right that in Onondaga County, we've had all of these instances recently where there have been children that have been abused. My daughter was seven weeks old at the time of her injury. She did nothing wrong. She's a total and complete victim. And I think it's very important that not only the media knows what's going on with children, but also that the laws in this country, and in the state especially, change to reflect that. Today at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I have to hand my children over to him, and he has visitation privately in his home with his parents and supervisors. So I think that there's no real answer for justice because my family's been destroyed and my daughter has been hurt. But I think it's very, very important that when we're given the platform that we speak out and we fight for what's right for children. That's only right and it's only fair.